For the second time in four days, investigators are looking into a fire at an apartment building on the west side of Indianapolis. A 74-year-old man died after a fire at the same building on Thursday. Now neighbors are sharing their concerns as fire officials investigate the cause. This makeshift memorial at the village on Washington Apartments marks the place where a 74-year-old man was pulled from a fire Thursday afternoon. He died over the weekend. Then, Indianapolis firefighters were back out here early Monday morning for a second fire. This is the other side of that same building uh, where it is now on fire. A heavy fire was showing through the roof when we got here. A second fire at the same building is cause for concern for neighbors. It's scary, you know, it's really scary to um, be catty corner from it. Maybe just increase some security over here. It sounds like some funny business going on or something. Although the cause of Thursday's deadly fire is unknown, Battalion Chief Rita Wright says it started in an apartment unit that should have been empty. What we do know from the fire on the other day was that we did have um, a significant number of squatters that were taking up in this building. Um, and again, that investigation is still ongoing. Tanya Slack and Adam Logston say traffic to and from the building quieted down after a September raid that ended with four people arrested on drug and gun charges. However, they've noticed activity picking back up with colder weather. And we've been seeing people um, going in there and sleeping in the hallways. To yeah. keep warm. IFD says the property owner has made attempts to secure the building, although one woman was still staying there Monday morning despite utilities being shut off. They're asking neighbors to always report suspicious activity when they see it. Keep a lookout for people that are squatting around places, starting fires, and trying to keep warm. IFT says the owner of the property has been cooperative. They've made efforts to secure that building since Thursday's fire. And again, the investigations into both fires are ongoing.